Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm going to be covering something called the total function in Tableau. Now, in order to explain this properly, I'm also going to need to cover another concept called a partition in Tableau. If you're not familiar with that, don't worry, I'll explain it in this video. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're here in a very simple view. I'm just gonna to go to the product hierarchy, drag subcategory onto rows and sales onto ABC to build a very simple table, okay? Essentially, this table just shows the total for each subcategory. Now, I'm gonna go ahead straight and show you the total function. Remember, in my previous videos, I've been talking about how you get a description for each function here in this little window. If you can't find it, just hit this little arrow here and it will expand that pane to the right. Let's go in here and type total and you'll see that it's right here. So you can see the definition here returns the total for the given expression, okay? I actually don't think this description is clear enough because if you've, if you've used maths in general in other tools, the term sum and total can sometimes be used in the same context. So you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference with the sum function or what's the difference between totals and sums, okay? Let me show you. So in the view right now, we already actually have a sum. You can see here that it's essentially just totaling up all the cells within each subcategory. So what does a total do? Well, let's go ahead and type the function. Let's type in total here. And when I double click that, it automatically completes that. Let me just make this larger so you can see what's going on a little bit more clearly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold command control on a Windows machine and drag that into the brackets and that will put that in there. So now we have our total function around the sum of cells. The sum of cells in this case is our expression, okay? So let's go ahead and call this total and let's hit apply. And you'll see that that actually applies here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to drag it in, put it inside of the same box here and it has them side by side. So what's actually going on? Well, if you look at this, let me just click OK here and just expand this a little bit more. You'll see that it has the same value all the way down. This is essentially because what the total function is doing is it's looking at this table and adding everything up. Now you might wonder, why is it adding everything up? Well, it's because this whole table represents a single partition, okay? Let me change things up a little bit and you'll see how this number changes as I change the chart, okay? Let me this time go and drag category in front of subcategory and you'll notice the number stays the same, nothing changes, okay? And that's because the definition of the partition hasn't changed yet because when we built the chart, the definition of the partition was using this terminology here at the top that says, table down, okay? So essentially, it's looking at this entire table and looking down the chart, and it's going to compute everything up until this little section. In fact, if I bring up my annotation tools, let me just show you this. I'm just gonna draw a square here, and this is essentially what it's doing. It's looking at this whole table and totaling everything up in this direction, okay? And it's essentially doing it for this column, but then it's resulting in here. And then once it has the answer, it repeats that value in every single cell. So it sort of does the calculation, then returns the value in every single cell. Okay, still with me? All right, I know this is getting confusing very quickly, but just keep with me for a few more minutes and we'll get there, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the definition of this partition so you can see what's going on. What I'm going to do is change it to something called pane down, okay? I'll just explain what a pane is in a second, but let me just show you what happens. Let me click on this triangle here on the uh, pill, and if I go to compute using, you'll see that I get this sort of uh, table of options. Uh, I actually can't annotate it whilst it's open, unfortunately, so I'll just keep it open and I'll just explain it here. You see table down, pane down, pane across, then down, pane down, then across. These get very confusing very quickly. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on this very, very soon. But if I just select pane down, notice what happens to the number. You see, it immediately changes, okay? And that is because the definition of the partition is now being controlled by something called the pane. In this particular case, a pane refers to something like this. So this is essentially a pane, okay? And the whole entire table, if I just change the color, is something like that, okay? So green is a single pane and blue is the entire table. So this is actually what's changing. We're changing the definition of how it's doing the calculation. Let me just go ahead and clear that. And so now we can actually validate that this is doing what we think it does because if I just hold uh, shift here, just select each of these, you'll see that Tableau does a nice little sum there, 742,000. If I click back out, 
and you'll see that that is what num that number is there. Now, if I go in here and actually just select office supplies, you'll see that it does a total uh, of these numbers in here and actually sort of does a really high number. That's not what we want. We just want each of these um, in here. So let me just go ahead. I could have actually control dragged that, but you'll see 719,000 and it's just there. I'm holding shift as I select those and that's how it's staying there. And Tableau is doing some maths for me, okay? Now, what I could also do is I could also go to the worksheet options and then show the summary. The summary is essentially a pane on the right hand side that tells us a set of values. The reason I want to do this is because I'm now going to change the computations and mix things up a little bit. We know what the total function does. It adds everything up, then repeats that value across every cell. We now understand what partitions is. We're basically describing the way in which Tableau looks at our table. Table down looks at the whole table. Pane looks at each individual pane. And essentially to have a pane, you have to have some sort of hierarchy. So if you've got two pills here in the row shelf, you have a single pane in your table. Now, if I was to add another thing into the pill shelf, the definitions of the pane would actually become even smaller. Let me show you. If I just grab order date and put that in front of measure names, what ends up happening is the definition of a pane now includes the year. So now this 157 includes the values just for 2017 because my pane is essentially this little square. I've just, uh, I, I activated the annotation here whilst I was uh, uh, on the box. If I do this outside and then draw this box here, you'll see that that is a single pane. So the definition of a pane always stays the same visually in Tableau. It's essentially uh, a, a sort of a fixed definition, but all we're really doing when we uh, tell Tableau which way to look at the calculation is describing the direction of travel for that calculation. And notice now that I've added another pill into the view, this list of items has gotten longer. Don't worry too much about this. When I've done the video on this topic, you'll see it flashing on the screen as a tooltip to go and watch. But for now, just understand that the total will look at the context of the table and depending on what partition you select, table down, pane down, pane across, it will use that as a way of calculating what's going on, okay? So that's pretty much the you know summary of the total function. It takes everything into context and returns a single value across every cell and uh, you're going to need a good understanding of a partition to really take advantage of it and really make the most use of it. Now, we've used some of cells here, but the total function, of course, can work with other functions. Let's uh, edit this calculation and see what happens, OK? So let's go ahead and actually open our total function here. Click Edit. And you'll see here that we have some of cells. I'm actually going to change this to average cells, OK? So what I'd love to ask you is, what do you think it's going to do in this particular case? Previously, it did the sum. So in this particular case, what you'd expect is it does the average for the partition, okay? And so that actually requires going down into the data, getting everything, but it's not just going to get the values that we see. Let me just show you what I mean. Let's hit apply, and you'll see that the number for this top left pane is now 373, okay? Now, this is 2017 furniture, okay? This is essentially what the average is, okay? And the way it's doing that isn't by looking at this. Let me just change this actually to an average. Let me change this to an average so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's uh, just remove that bracket and yeah, just hit enter. There we go. It's not getting this by adding these up and then calculating the average. In fact, if I do that, if I click on that, hold that, hold that, and hold that, you'll see the average over here on the summary pane is 466. This is actually a very common issue when people are building charts with averages, they forget to understand that the average in Tableau, Tableau will actually go back into the data set and look at every single record inside of that partition and then calculate the average that way, okay? So the average sale for bookcases might be 542. The average for chairs might be 599. The average for furnishings might be 75. The average for tables might be 649. But you don't you don't get an average for furniture by adding those four things then dividing it by four. You actually get every single record in furniture and you calculate the average across every single record and that actually returns a different average, 373. Probably because our furnishings don't sell that highly, so this average is being dragged right down. But we can sort of see the effect of that actually if we just exclude that, you'll see that now it shoots up to 605. Okay, so what I did there is I just right clicked on the item and then uh, excluded, okay? Um, if I go back one step, 
and just click on it again, you'll see that we go back to where we were before. So the total function will do whatever expression you're telling it to do across the whole entire partition, okay? So this is probably one of the simplest functions with probably the most difficult to explain concepts because it sort of straddles two things, uh, partitions uh, and the direction of table calculations, which again, I've said I'll do in another video, but also just this concept that the term total can be used to work with something like averages, which doesn't sort of make natural sense, but that's, that's pretty much how it works, okay? So think of what the function does rather than what it's called and you'll be flying with this function, okay? That's it for today. I'm deliberately avoiding a lot of pitfalls with this one. I think I'm gonna to have to come back to each individual concept over time, but I'm deliberately trying to keep these videos uh, brief and to the point so each function gets its own dedicated explainer. Um, I definitely encourage you to go out there and read a bunch of blogs uh, from the Tableau community about the term total. You'll see lots of different opinions and, and, and thoughts about this, specifically when, when it comes to things like even performance, because you can do quite a few things differently in Tableau. And one of those is to try and optimize the way certain calculations are done. And total is a very useful way of thinking about certain things in certain situations, okay? That's it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you haven't, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I'm working my way through all these functions that are most commonly used in Tableau. This is going to be part of a playlist. So look out for that playlist. I'm going to link it in the description when it's ready. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.